Hi, this is Fred with Finale Inventory. Today we're going to talk about how to create a return from a sales order. So first let's log into our Finale account and then we'll go from our home page to View Sales. Here we'll choose the order that we're going to return. So let's choose order number 84. And now we're going to click Create Return. What this does is it generates a return order using the order number dash one. Now the dash one is just the sequence. So if you have multiple returns, it'll be dash two, dash three, and so forth. So you can see it pulls in the order information. So we have the customer, where the primary location was. So for this particular one, primary location is the name, uh, and then the return date. And lastly, you can see we have the line item details. So we can choose a return reason if we'd like. Let's say this one uh, was no longer needed. And now we're going to receive the return. Finale prompts us to either enter uh, sublocation that we're returning it to, if you'd like, shipment carrier, uh, and tracking code, and then the date that the shipment was received. So we're going to receive the return. Now the inventory has been returned to stock you can see the status is now closed if we need to make any other adjustments maybe change this return reason we can always mark this back into draft mode or to edit the fields so as it is right now the return is complete now let's create another return where a customer ordered multiple items and they're only returning one so let's go to our home page go back to view sales let's choose that order and now we're gonna click create return again so you can see this customer, Jimi Hendrix, ordered three items, a guitar, an amp, and an effects pedal. So we're going to create the return. It generates a return document as same as the last one. So here we just need to remove the items that are not going to be returned. So uh, Mr. Hendrix is going to keep the guitar, keep the amp, but is returning the pedal. And we can choose the return reason again. Let's say this item didn't show up in time. So we're going to receive the return. Same thing, enter these details, and we'll receive it. So when we go back to the sale itself, we can look at that order. And now there's an additional tab called Returns. And here it lists all of the returns for this particular transaction. You can click that return ID, and it'll take you straight to the return so you can see those details. You can also look at the view stock history. Here, you can type in a specific product. So let's choose the Vox Wah pedal. And Finale would show you that transaction right there. On the 14th, it was returned, quantity of one, and that is the return ID. So if we wanted to, we can click that link to take us straight to the order. So that's an overview of how the returns process works in Finale. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can email us at service at finaleinventory.com. You can go to the help, submit a service request, or you can go onto our website. You can either call us or you can initiate a chat. Thank you. Have a good day.